Oh, nice squad, what's going on? So look, I originally did this video already a few minutes ago, but I figured I'd redo it because I watched it and I was like, dang, I was a little bit of a douchebag. So I'm gonna try to do it a, a little bit nicer, you know, to the best of my ability. But when certain things annoy me, like I, I kind of get a little disrespectful. So, you know, it's not the goal here, okay? So anyway, look, the government screwed a lot of people over, plain and simple. They had months to take care of, of the American people for something that they told us to do. And now they screwed everybody over. So now there's going to be homeless people. There's um, like, it's just, it's, it's, it's going to cause chaos. Like it really is going to cause chaos. I'm not, I'm not going to be surprised if uh, violent stuff starts increasing because of what's going on. People got families that they got to take care of. But then I have to look at it from a reality standpoint. They were saying that millions upon millions was getting this unemployment. Now, I don't see how you're like you should be evicted if you was receiving that six hundred dollars every week. Now, listen to me carefully, because I know there's somebody who's going to not listen properly and they go in the comment section and oh, man, you da, 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 da. listen carefully. If you was receiving this six hundred dollars every two weeks and it was more than what you was getting on your average paycheck, you have no excuse. Plain and simple. If that unemployment was more than what you was making a month, then there's no reason why you should be uh, getting evicted. There's no reason why you should be late on your payments. Like people say, oh, man, the government this and the, like the government is trash. Th that's facts. We, we all know that. But you got to put the blame on yourself. If you decide to put you and your family in that situation, then that's your fault for making that bad call. There's no reason why you was getting the state unemployment plus the federal and you're still being evicted. Come on. Like, there's no excuse for that. I don't want to hear it. You could twist and turn it any way you want. If you was making more than what you would, if you're getting more unemployment than what you was getting on your regular check a month, you shouldn't be evicted. Now, for those that are actually affected, I'm talking about like people who's got the hours reduced and they couldn't get unemployment or, uh, or, or maybe they, they didn't know that they could get unemployment. Um, you know, just people who's actually been affected by this virus. Look, it does suck for you guys, man. It really does. I don't know what to tell you, man. I hope that maybe like for your state has a program or something, something you guys can get into or maybe you guys can ask family or friends to um, help loan you some money or, or something. Because it's not fair that the government screwed you guys over. It's not. Like, I'm pretty sure a lot of us was expecting a stimulus check this month. Because, like, July was just all hyped up. No, oh, man, stimulus check this, stimulus check that, man. It might be 4400 It might be 6000 you know, like, depending on what goes down. Yeah, Like, everybody was expecting it, and then they just said, psych! And now a lot of people are suffering because of that. Now there's going to be a lot of evictions and this is that and the third and it sucks, you know, so I don't know, like I, I really do hope that, you know, the violence stays to a minimum because like it, it, nine times out of ten is going to happen these next few weeks that the uh, the crappy government people is on vacation. I hope that the violent, the, the crimes and stuff don't shoot up. I'm pretty sure it's going to go up, but I just hope it don't just get too reckless, you know, burning down stuff and stealing from people. <sighs> Once again, like it smells like a setup. And if you guys don't see, if you guys didn't see it, then I'm pretty sure you see it now because they really cared about the American people. They would have got something out by now. Simple. It didn't take a genius to figure out, oh, wait, uh, once July 31st come, people are going to start being, being evicted. Uh, once July 31st comes, people are not going to be getting unemployment anymore. You know, but these are the lives. These are people who, who we decide to put in office, who we trust, supposed to trust to help us in this time of need. So, look, man, I hope for those who actually been affected by COVID, man, I hope something turns around for you guys because it's not fair. It really isn't for you guys who actually had that money from unemployment. That's on y'all. <laughs> plain and simple 
I don't feel bad for you. Like, it sucks that you guys took the money and blew it on this and blew it on that. That's your fault. Okay, so now you guys got to figure out something. I hope you guys figure out something too, man, because that was just a bad decision on your end. All right, don't blame the government for that. It ain't their fault. You was getting money every week. Now, after you stop getting the, uh, the 600, okay, now we could, you know, talk about punching the government in the neck and stuff like that. Now we can talk. But all that time beforehand, mm-mm, because you was making more money and some. So there's no excuse for you guys, man. But anyway, like, I don't know, man. If you guys agree, hit the thumbs up. If you don't, let me know in the comment section below, man. Talk to your boy. It ain't going to hurt. Hit that subscribe button. It ain't going to hurt. It's free. Okay? Hit the thumbs up. It really does help my channel grow so that way I can, you know, hit my thousand mark. I've been at 825, I think. So help your boy get to that thousand so that way I can start moving that milestone for me and my family. All right? Till my next video, Night Squad. Oops.